Hey, I'm in the Twin Cities. We're installing a tankless water heater by Renai. It's the new Sensi RXP. Today's video is all about tankless water heaters. Let's get going. Renai's Sensi unit is now 10 pounds lighter, uh, which is just nicer for the install. A little less work, not gonna need two people to hang it on the wall. Right, so installation went really well. Let's go over a couple of the cool features that Renai has built into the Sensi system. So first and foremost, what they used to have was 24 SKUs on this condensing tankless uh, line. That would accommodate for size of units, whether or not it had a pump built in for recirculation, and whether or not it was LP, uh, natural gas, or indoor, outdoor. So 24 SKUs and they've brought that down to six. So that is a huge benefit for plumbing contractors having to keep less uh, possible inventory. I did show how easy it is to use the VersaVent system. That's how another reason that they're able to go from 24 SKUs down to six, VersaVent. That's the vent connection hood that goes on top of this unit to turn it from an indoor unit to an outdoor unit in literally seconds. I'm not kidding you, it took me about two minutes to convert this using the VersaVent system. Super easy, super straightforward, and great instructions on how to do it, but I'm very simple. Okay, let's go back into this. We're using indoor air instead of intake air from the outside. Perfectly uh, within the manufacturer's specs for installation, it's right in the manual. The next thing, gas. We didn't have to do anything for re, uh, configuring gas for sizing or anything like that in this house. This is a 199,000 BTU model. We have the right size uh, meter on the system. It is low pressure. All we had to do was kind of move a couple lines so that they weren't in the way. And that was left over from the previous installation. So gas was pretty straightforward. Uh, I'm typically using iron pipe on my installations simply because I get the highest capacity at a smaller diameter. All right. The other thing I think is super important to talk about is how you can set this unit up and save a ton of time as a plumber, okay? I don't have to get onto my customer's Wi-Fi in order to set this up. I can use the Renai Central app and set it up with my phone using Bluetooth. So we're gonna go over that now. So plug it into the outlet here. Hit the power button. It's got SET for setup. I'm going to actually hit the Bluetooth button. Now I've got the Bluetooth indicated that it is turned on. I'm going to open up my app. At the top of the app, it says connect to Renai uh, Bluetooth enabled water heater. 
and it's already populated. Renai RX, and I'm just gonna actually select that and hit continue. Now it's pairing. It's asking my phone if I'm allowing it to pair, so I'm gonna say yes. It's actually giving me an audible signal that it's paired, pairing to the unit. I'm doing this without Wi-Fi. I didn't have to contact my customer. I didn't have to have login credentials, uh, which is gonna speed up any installation. So we're connecting right now. All right, so I'm in the Renai Central app. I'm connected to the RX199 uh, unit. And now I could go through quick setup. So I'm gonna go to quick setup. And now first part is fuel setup. Here's one of the coolest things. I'm not gonna lie, this is very exciting to me. So with the advancement of the gas valve system and the uh, electronics in Renai's uh, RXP model or the RX series, is the ability to do gas conversion without even opening the cover. We're on natural gas here, we're gonna leave it, but we have the ability to go to propane or natural gas right here within the app. So I'm gonna hit continue. Now, next step on the quick setup is indoor or outdoor. Obviously we're indoor. I don't need to change it, but I can right here. Indoor or outdoor, it's just a press of the button on the screen. Hit continue, I'm on indoor. Now, setting our elevation. Uh, zero to 2,000 feet is perfect for where we're at in Minnesota. We're gonna leave it right there at the zero to 2,000. And now, recirc. Here's another thing. This has this is the RXP model. You've heard me say that already. The P stands for pump. It's got recirculation uh, capabilities. You've got three different ways to do recirc in here. Um, well, first of all, no recirc. You've got uh, crossover recirc or using a uh, thermal bypass valve. I'll show you that in a second. Or you've got dedicated recirc, okay? We're gonna uh, select dedicated, okay? We're gonna hit continue. Now, recirculation mode. You've got economy mode, which saves energy, less frequent recirculation cycles. Or you've got comfort, maintains water temperature with more frequent recirculation cycles. We can leave it in economy right now, okay? So we're gonna leave it in economy and we're gonna set the speed of the recirculation pump. So you've got the ability to take max speed, high speed, medium, and low, okay? Based off of the length of the recirc line and the diameter. So there are some parameters you need to pay attention to in the install manual, what this is capable of for, first of all, diameter and length of recirculation pipe. So we're halfway through the setup already. And then smart circ. Um, we're gonna enable the smart circ. That's what's recommended by Renai. That's what I was talking about. It's like, it's learning the usage patterns. As long as that faucet is turned on for 20 seconds or longer, the unit is, gonna, unit is going to record that as a event, okay? And then it's gonna use that event and tomorrow at that time and is going to turn on this recirculation in order to anticipate water use at that time. It's doing that constantly 24 hours a day, seven days at a time. So it's constantly relearning uh, usage patterns. So smart circ is enabled. Continue. Now wireless push button or wireless push button and smart circ. So we're going to put uh, wireless push button and smart circ because we're just going to use that smart circ feature. Keep going. Max temperature. Now we're going to set this at 120 degrees. Now that can be changed later, but we're going to leave this at 120 degrees. So we're going to deliver 120 degrees. The next option on the screen within the quick setup is 140. We don't want that for residential. Hit continue. Now here's where we actually set the temperature. So we've maxed it out at 120, but we're gonna set this by turning or touching the screen here. We go 115, 120, you can go all the way down to 98 if you want. And it's a really nice interface on the screen here. Let's go to 120. We're gonna run it at its max temperature here. All right, how often would you like to receive service alerts? I'm a big fan of working with my customers to ensure that they're happy with their equipment by going off the guidelines of the manual. I'm gonna go one year right here. So we wanna just touch that, hit one year, continue. All right, we're at 99% complete and it gives us a full uh, report of what we've selected so far. So we can look over that in review and we can save it to the water heater by clicking save. 
and it's saying you're selecting natural gas and indoor venting. Please note that the incorrect setting can cause damage. All right, set up in progress. Your parameters are being uploaded to the Renai appliance. Now I can hit finish. And now it's going to upload and save everything in the uh, unit. So next time I connect to this with my phone or if another contractor were to connect or if the customer is going to connect to it, everything is going to be connect already saved in there. And now I can get out of here and everything is done. So in theory, I could turn on a water now and we'll have 120 degree delivery temperature. It knows that it's set up for natural gas, indoor connection uh, for venting, and we're ready to go. Let's give it a shot. All right, so we've got hot water at the fixtures, which is great. We're delivering it at the right temperature. Everything seems perfect. Now let's go over some of those other features we talked about when it comes to recirc. We've set this up to use smart circ. That's that learning mode. We've got a dedicated return line, meaning we've got a uh, half inch PEX line running from the furthest bathroom all the way down to the unit. We've created a hot water recirculation loop. Not every house is gonna have a dedicated return. I don't see them very often to be completely honest. This ships with the RXP unit. This is what they're calling the crossover valve. This is a thermal bypass valve. You've got the ability to connect your hot and cold uh, from underneath a sink. So you've got hot and cold. They connect to the sides of this, the, this T here. And then out the top, you go to your faucet. What's in here is a little thermal bypass valve and a check valve. It allows water to be pushed from the pump at the unit through the hot line all the way to that furthest fixture where this is installed and then into the cold line when this little thermal bypass valve is opening and closing. This is a super, super useful device on a, on a house that does not have a dedicated recirc line. You can also use what they call the recirculation push button. Okay, so this is a little Bluetooth button that connects to the unit, you pair it up, you place this in a bathroom, you're using that thermal bypass or that dedicated return line, you can use this little button to activate recirculation. Pretty nice, you can have up to five of these in a system, very cool. Now, further going in and deeper, you can actually connect their wireless module. So this is RWM200 wireless module. This is a pretty cool little device, and this will connect to the wireless in the house, to the Wi-Fi system, and to the unit. This would be super useful for things like vacation properties or, or lake homes, somewhere that's not fully occupied all the time. Using this wireless module and the app, you can create uh, vacation modes and timed events for recirculation. Very cool little feature here. All right, so I wanna review the installation real quick. You've got a lot of options for re hot water recirculation using the RXP model, that's exciting to me. You've got the push button, you've got the ability to make schedules or vacation mode using the Wi-Fi module, and right out of the box, we're using Smart Circ, and that's the intelligent system that's gonna learn the usage patterns within the home. That, to me, is the most useful feature uh, for most installations. I can think of common scenarios where others might be super uh, useful as well. And then depending on where you live, you might need to use the push button uh, functionality. All of those other things are uh, accessories. We can go over the venting, okay? So we're, we chose to use indoor air and we vented out the chimney using a polypropylene kit. Again, a normal common situation where I work off is this right here. You could use two pipe PVC as long as you're using the proper type of PVC or uh, CPVC. You can also use Renai's proprietary venting, the, the dual or concentric venting kit. So this adapter here comes right off, remove one screw, fit their venting system right on the unit. That's really cool too. Uh, and then back to the gas conversion and using the app. I think the setup using the Renai um, central app is phenomenal. No logging into the customer's Wi-Fi, not getting the customer's phone or anything like that. You can do it all through Bluetooth. Very, very simple. It makes installation much faster. Gas conversion within the app is huge to me. I'm gonna be honest with you, that is awesome. And you get to set up everything else, your research, your maintenance, 
uh, reminders, things like that, temperature limitation, all within the app. So check that out, download the app. There's a QR code on the screen, Renai Central. You can get it for Android or iPhone. There it is, guys, 199,000 BTU Sensi RXP. Okay, that's the model we installed here, which is perfect for our cold Minnesota water. We've got multiple bathrooms and dedicated research all in this small 10 pounds lighter footprint hanging on the wall. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank mm -hmm. you.